hey guys i'm not sure how big the show is but let's go find out welcome to boscombe down aviation collection model show 2022 this is just a quick show of the actual museum itself um last thing i won but this is where the show took place and it's a really lovely backdrop to the uh, model show itself there's also a lot of traders there as well fitting nicely between the actual model displays of course the museum itself does house a wide variety of aircraft including some cockpits which you can go in like this BAC 111 that I've gone in here there was actually some lovely uh, lady in here with her daughter um, so I've just avoided obviously putting them in footage but I just wanted to show you one of the cockpits that you can go into it's all included in the model show admission fee so it doesn't cost you anything extra it's just some nice added bonuses compared to say a regular model show sort of reminiscent of Cosford as it's like a museum you've got the whole museum at your disposal as well obviously Cosford's a much bigger museum but I've never actually been to Boscombe Down Aviation Collection before so this is a really new experience for me it's a really nice museum um, I won't lie, didn't spend a million hours sort of looking through everything and I didn't want to film everything either because I wanted you guys to see a lot, you know, enough for you guys to come and actually visit it yourself. Outside, before you actually get in though, after you packed your car up, was uh, obviously this Hunter Jet Provost and the cockpit of a De Havilland Comet. Um, I think this is the one from Lynham potentially. Now, there were these tanks as well. These are all remote controlled tanks. Now, they look static at the moment but you'll also get to see them a second all active and hear their lovely sounds so get ready to hear the roar <laughs> see how this is so cool um i i, I know these are extremely expensive models um watch this tiger just sort of climb this steep incline before it topples over and then starts its descent back down the ramp but yeah there was a wide variety of these out here I don't know if they took requests from people, I just did like them talking to um, a couple of people and then they put another one on, so I think they did, but I'm assuming they were all sort of potentially active throughout the day. Obviously when I arrived they weren't, and then I came outside actually to go home and they were all active, which was really, really nice. I'm really glad I got to capture this before I went home, but yeah, really a lovely collection. It's not something you often see at model shows. I hope this is something to see more of, um, you know, modelling. It's so much more than just building a model kit, it can lead you onto so many other things. And it's just nice to have something that's an audiovisual experience, you know? So yeah, it's really lovely to see this outside, but without any further hesitation, let's go and have a look at what we've all been waiting for, the models. We're starting with Boscombe Down Aviation Collection, uh, their own table, which was front and centre as you actually arrived through the entrance. The entrance itself was like, um, you took a flight to Boscombe Town, it was really, really cool. The centrepiece is this Hellenic display with an F-16 F-4, which is really what caught my eye. I'm going to be really, really brutally honest with you. Um, and there was this gorgeous Avro Valkyrie. I don't know what about it, it just looks so lovely. But yeah, we can see the Zeus demo team at F-16 here, alongside the F-4, the, uh, the end of the mirror, essentially. As the Hellenic Air Force no longer has the F-4. This is a lovely diorama with a meteor being serviced. The beautiful Avro Vulcan, followed by what I confidently at the show thought was a Bristol Buckingham or Brigand, but now I'm not too sure, so please let me know in the comments if you see this. <laughs> Following around then, we have the Ageless and Nostalgic Vintage Models SIG, which was a really unique display. I, I, have I seen this before? I don't know. But I just thought it was lovely, this chess set that was made of Civil War soldiers. The whole table was just screaming with vibrancy of older model kits that I don't think any of them really are in production anymore. Um, there might be some that are as old vintage classics again, but this scene really just stood up. It's the animals. The animals just made it for me. Now we're over to a South Brick, which had a tiger theme throughout. It's, if, if you can't notice, there's a lot of them throughout. There's one right at the back there that really stole the show for me there. But yeah, that whole table was tigers. And I love this because sometimes, particularly when people are really into just aviation, it can become a sea of gray, green, and brown. And having even just one or two tigers breaks it up. And this TSR2 was stunning and achievable. And I just love that. There's these G91s here, Portuguese and German. 
and then a Magister T91 and F5 of France, Portugal and Switzerland. We then have this, I think the Belgium F16 in full Tiger livery and a Canadian FA18 or CF18 I think it is actually for Canada. And we have a Mirage F1. You can see I took loads of pictures of this because I just, I love Tigers. <laughs> it's just, it, oh, I just love them. And I think we got a picture of that one as well at the previous model show. We're now moving on to the Early Risers. This is one I always look out for at every show I go to. They always just have such a fantastic variety on display from fantasy to sci-fi and apparently tractors. I don't know why, but they have tractors this year and I am here for it. There's a priest here performing a ceremony in front of these soldiers and a Chaos Space Marine Helldrake. We're then following this up with the tractors. Uh, the one that was entered into co competition is a Perutz tractor, if I'm saying that correctly, I think. But it was just a lovely selection. And then there was this uh, Fury as well, which is a jet I don't think you see too much. There was Tom Bowler at the show as well, which I did have a go at. That cross stitch on the right, the bottle of wine, and a sign on I want as well. So I did put a couple of things there, which was lovely. We're now heading over to the Tank Museum Volunteer Modelers. Obviously tanks are not my specialty, but I was flabbergasted by some of the dioramas because they just looked amazing. This whole table, in fact, the whole display was beautiful. There were some aircraft over there as well. So there are some things that even I recognize. There's a lot of civil aircraft as well, which is always nice to see because civilian aviation can sometimes be left out. But there is a lot of that that we'll see at this show, which is fantastic. A lot of BOAC stuff here. So this is a Willis Jeep or Willys Jeep. Um, and it said Korea as well. And then we've got an SDK of Z222 crossing the trench here with this sort of construction and an M46 pattern, which uh, has a tag scheme on it. We've then got this VC10 at BOAC. I love how shiny this is as well. With the, with the BOAC, it looks beautiful. Heading over to Farnborough then, this is much more of my <laughs> expertise with aircraft and you can see those lovely little egg planes there that just fit in and the Millennium Falcon just hiding under the display. They have an amazing set of alien dioramas here with troopers arriving from the vehicle and then one with the ship flying over as well which I just thought was stunning. Uh, that Thunderbird I think we've seen at previous shows but it just still looks stunning. If it's new for you guys then I think I've seen the idea before but it still looked amazing. And Iron Man on top there. So as I say yeah there's the uh, Royal Air Force Thunderbird there which is just <laughs> so cool. And then Alien here the first of two dioramas. You can think of them as linked. And unfortunately I got this one out of focus for the soldiers but got the troops in focus so I do apologise for that. I've got this Danish F-104 Starfighter here in eggplane form which I just thought was adorable and a Fiat G50 which is the new FX Classics collection and a shackle turn so a really good variety there on display. But now we're heading over to Salisbury which had some of my favourite, I say favourite as in like they're the cutest models, I think they won the cutest models honestly. That needs to be a category that I judge. So we're going to have the cutest model award <laughs> which is going to be shown for you in a second because these were freaking adorable and they were scratch built and I just love them so, so much. Oh my god, imagine it wasn't exactly being better. Anyway, sorry, getting really sidetracked here, but yeah, they've got a really good selection of aircraft in various different scales and some dioramas here. This one is beautiful, this like swampy one. Um, and they check at MiG-21. Now, this is one of the cutest ones. Oh my god, look at it. So this is a Beaverette AA and this is a Morris Light Recon vehicle, both for 148 scale and scratch built, but oh my god, they're so cute. And then there's a Save the Typhoon diorama, which again I think we saw at a previous show, but it looks spectacular. And this Czech MiG-21, followed by a diorama named Tin Opened, which is a hurricane killing an SD KFZ-260. This is just showing you what was the kids table, I think all of these are kids, which is very depressing because a lot of them are better than mine. Um, yeah, that, that makes me very ashamed. But these were amazing. Um, I particularly love the Antonov there in the corner. Just, it, I don't know, it looks like it's taking off. It's beautiful. Now we're over to Avon and this diorama, I thought was originally just like this. And there is a little sign that says it rotates and the guy was like, oh, it does actually spin around. And I was like, oh, okay. Had no idea <laughs> that this is on the back. Just a Japanese hideout, sort of a cave 
um, operating base. Just, yeah, it's, it's a really neat idea. A really, really clever use of space in a diorama as well. I just thought this was beautifully done. It was really, really clever. The rest of the display then did feature a lot of larger scale aircraft. One of my favourite aircraft of all time, the Junkers J52, just sitting there as well. There's also a Blackburn uh, Buccaneer on there too. Uh, there's a couple of small scale helicopters there, one of which we'll see in a bit more detail in a moment. Overall, again, a really varied display. It's just fabulous. So there's the uh, CH46 C Knight of the uh, Swedish Marine Patrol, I guess, and the team because J52, which I just adore. <laughs> I don't know, it's just so boxy and beautiful. And the balcony that I mentioned a moment ago as well. So now we're heading over to the Cotswolds um, Model Club, uh, which I first saw um, at the last show. And there are a couple of things that caught my eye. This is again a very different layout to what I saw from the last time, but a lot of aircraft that were really beautifully and wonderfully presented. In particular, I love the sort of turquoise of this DC uh, 3 in the Buffalo scheme. I just thought it was absolutely stunning. We then have this Lockheed Hudson here as well, which I just thought was a really beautifully executed model. And this P 51 diorama, which Oh my god, I actually think it looks like a movie set. After this we have Romsey Model Club. And again, a lovely variety of aircraft from different eras, but also we have some cars, we have some bikes, we have lots of things that are normally something that I don't really understand, but I made an effort and here is a Honda RC2 and a de Havilland DH9 of the Irish Aircourts, which I thought was stunning, and a Mercedes GT3 and Battlefield scheme, which I just really love the rusty bronze colour. There's also this English electric lighting as well, which I also thought was beautiful. This is the other end of their display because I couldn't get it quite in one go. Obviously other people are at the shows as well, so I do try and just not be in the way as much as possible. And this beautiful submarine, yeah, just really, really lovely display. After this we have the Pool Vikings, again another card that was relatively new to me at the, the, the last show or the show before last. And this diorama, I didn't make a picture of it, I just sort of did this video to show you the scale of it. Absolutely stunning sort of German army World War II diorama. It was just absolutely beautiful. There are a couple of things here, including the Grayscale Skip Spitfire that you will have seen. So if you haven't seen already, check out my previous model show videos to sort of have a look at those in a bit more detail because I do try and make sure I vary what I have here and yeah, and some Necrons as well, which I didn't expect. But I, they may have been at the last show, I honestly don't recall, but they were one of the things I did take a picture of today as well. So yeah, overall, a really lovely display. Sorry, this, the warships are slightly out of focus. I thought they weren't, but again, I was just trying to be considerate of other people who were there as well. So having a little close up of these Necrons then, looking menacing, not to tear the flesh from you. And this reminds me of the diorama as well, which I thought was a really neat take, because it's not something you often see. And this H21 flying banana of the um, Japanese as well, which I just thought was really unique and different. Over to Gloucester we have the R100 Airship, starting at the end of the display. Really well set up at the end actually, so you can get a really nice photo of it, sort of sideways on, really well thought of there. They had a lot of sci-fi, sort of futuristic um, models on display here, alongside some more, I guess, traditional models, including the giant, and there's, there's a gopher glider there as well, which Wow, well, I wish I had room in my house for that, I tell you. But yes, I got a picture of the R100 because I just thought, it, to me, that stole the show on your table poster. And we do also have uh, the Fairy Five Line 148 scale and these Space Marines, which were converted into Gundam, which I thought was absolutely adorable. They were 3D printed parts on standard 40k basis. So we are now arriving at Big Sky Scale Modelers, and this is Modelers Day Out. So as you can see there's aircraft, boats, all sorts there. I really love dioramas because I think they help bring models to life and just add extra depth. I don't know, there's just something about them. But there's also this London Bridge here as well, which is entirely made of card. It's originally sort of a, a model set. But you've got 
and even has like little heads <laughs> on stage, that's what these sort of black blobs are there. They're sort of the beheaded heads of criminals on sticks there, but yeah, it was beautiful and it was so nice to see it up close with all this detail. The, um, the model that actually came over and spoke to me and gave me a lot of detail about it, it was so wonderful. It was very friendly, so hi if you're watching, it's really nice to have met you. There's also this A400 at the back here, which I thought was really cool. Massive model, but a really awesome diorama. And this helicopter, my god, it looked like it was about to just fly off the board. Um, and that was representing the Aircraft Diorama Association. And here's another angle of Model as they We are now over to Southampton. Again, this display had pretty much everything. A handful of cars, well, more than a handful of cars these dominating Tornado and SU-27 combo and further on they had some dioramas as well so you know Star Wars but also realism ones as well and a couple of aircraft that should be there which always is a really nice addition to any display but there was a car that stole this for me and I was really shocked because I'm not someone who's really into vehicles but there's um, a Ford Mustang and uh, the, the guy told me it was in acid yellow the colour which I thought was very suitable this Ukrainian SG27 looking glorious and obviously from Star Wars a uh, bike, bike trooper and on the realism side this German checkpoint that, you know, they're just checking their papers checking they're all realistic and official we're now heading over to Poole, which I nearly missed this. This is actually in the refreshment room, which I thought was a really odd place because actually apparently a lot of people were walking past this. And Paul had a really lovely display, especially these gliders and this Fokker as well, the Fokker float plane, which Dutch aviation just never gets enough love. Which could also be said of Romanian aviation with the IAR-80, which was originally flying to and eventually turned into sort of a ground attack aircraft as well when it was sort of no longer dominant. This glider display was really beautiful with this Viking glider as sort of being entered into the competition here that you can see on its own. And finally, I think well, this may be the last thing, which is the Airport Aerodrome and Airfield SIG, which had, again, a lot on display. There's, you can see the Hertz plane there, which are featured in, uh, I think, the Milton Keynes model show from 2022. This British Caledonian BC-10, again, BC-10 thing at the door. I thought this was a beautiful scheme on it. This BAE 146 in TNT, I think, I showed before, but it looks lovely. And this EasyJet in full on orange scheme, which I don't think you see too often. So that was Boston Down Aviation Collection 2022. I hope you had an amazing time at the show if you attended. And if you've watched this video, I hope this convinces you to go next time. Hopefully we can do this again next year. If you liked this video, please remember to subscribe and drop me a comment below if you were at the show and what your favourite model was. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell to be notified of every new video on Mondays. You'll also be able to see me stream live on YouTube. Thanks again. I really appreciate it. Have fun modelling.